A dead whale remains on the beach after it washed ashore at Monterey State Beach over the weekend in Seaside, raising sympathy for the giant marine mammals from people in our area. Our chief photographer, Calista Silva, she went out and talked to marine experts to get an idea of what they believe may have happened to it tow it back out so it will either stay here or might get washed back out to sea on its own. It's pretty depressing especially when you know that it's that we're the cause. It's kind of sad first of all that uh, you know it, this happened I'm not sure why it's here or what caused it to die but um, I noticed there's a lot of shark bites in it and that to me is the most impressive thing. My theory based on the curve in the body is most likely it was hit by a large ship, so possibly a cargo ship, unfortunately. Um, and then, yeah, it ended up washing up. It was actually out in the bay, uh, right next to Monterey Harbor for about a day and a half, and then it washed up on the beach. This guy was mostly struck out in the shipping lanes. This is a fin whale, the second largest, um, second to the, the largest whale in the world. So the largest whale is the blue whale and then fin whales, which can get up to about 80 feet. It is a young fin whale for sure, because it's not uh, 80 feet long. So um, we're estimating like maybe between 40 to 55 feet or so, um, so younger. So now this is two whales just in a matter of months that have been hit by vessels washing up on shore. So there's actually a petition going on right now to move the shipping lanes farther out of the way of migrating whales. The shipping lanes in my opinion are just too close inland still even though they're several miles offshore but there's still all kinds of food out there for these animals and they do prefer deeper water so they're still feeding there pretty consistently and traveling south to their their uh, breeding grounds so if it was just you know 10 15 miles out farther then it would be a lot less likely that they would hit whales as often as they do so it's pretty depressing but it does make me want to fight harder to protect the animals right now there's no plans to tow it back out so it will either stay here it might get washed back out to see on its own. You know, we share the ocean with these animals and we try to keep away from them when we're fishing and surfing. But boat strikes, you know, just inevitable. Talti also says the shark bites on the whale's carcass likely from a great white, but that can't be officially confirmed at this time.